Let's start with the first premise. A human mind works in two ways. Or, we can say that cognitive processes can be performed in two ways. In an automatic way, and in a controlled way. We can also say that a mind at a moment of time can be either in an automatic mode, or in a controlled mode. An automatic process is unintentional, involuntary, effortless, and outside awareness. For example, riding a bike is an activity that you perform without thinking, without any cognitive effort at all. So your brain supports this activity in an automatic mode. In fact, the process is so automatic and so effortless that you can even talk or solve mathematical problems while riding. Breathing is so automatic that you are not even aware of it. Remembering what you see and hear is automatic and involuntary because you cannot just stop remembering. On the other hand, controlled processes are intentional, within awareness, effortful, and limited by the amount of attentional resources available at the moment. For example, doing mental math, like multiplying 57 by 65, is a controlled cognitive process. You cannot do mental math and read a newspaper simultaneously, because you simply don't have enough attention to do it. Attention is a resource, and it is limited. Two quick remarks on this subject. First, is it all black and white? Does an activity have to be either automatic or controlled? No, of course not. It is all relative. It is more like a scale. Walking is automatic, but walking unnaturally slowly is less automatic. Walking backwards is not at all automatic. Second, can an activity change its status, so to speak, from controlled to automatic and vice versa? Yes, of course. Driving a car, riding a bike, and even walking, can be performed in an automatic mode only when the activity is learned. But at the beginning, it requires a lot of cognitive effort. And on contrary, breathing is the most basic process, but if you focus on it, it can become controlled. Talking to people in your native language is a rather basic process, so your brain supports it automatically. You can actually talk about one thing and think about another in the same time. But speaking a foreign language requires a controlled mode. Chatting with friends is mostly automatic for most of people, but chatting with a group of strangers at a networking event might require a lot of cognitive effort. Especially for a socially anxious self-conscious person. Telling truth is generally automatic, while telling lies is generally controlled, for most of good people. So, now, I think you got the idea of automatic and controlled cognitive processes, or mental modes, or mental states. Whatever you want to call it. Take a quick quiz on automatic and controlled processes if you want to test your understanding. After that, let's proceed to the second premise. Once the first two premises are explained, we will talk about practice. I will tell you about specific behaviors that can be explained by this theory.